everyone, Shimmer here with a guide on how to do the Litany of Blood achievement for the uh, Skeleton Polymorph and the Executioner title. First you'll want to travel to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and you'll have to complete a few quests before you're given and when you complete the quest you'll be given the, um, the Tome of Litany. Once you complete that quest, you can find the Litany of Blood in your inventory and flip through it. This gives you a basic idea of who you're finding in each city and a little clue as to what they look like. Here's the achievement here, listing all the NPCs in each city you need to visit. This is what the Skeleton Polymorph looks like once completed and the Executioner title. Our first stop is in Skywatch in Aradon, and if you look at your book, you'll notice every single one of these NPCs can be identified by one of their eyes being white. A uh, little other is offered, so I'm going to show you each of the NPCs and what they look like so they're easier to find. Their paths are huge, so it's really hard to uh, locate them if you don't know what they look like. She passed around all around this area here. Our first NPC's name is Similire. And she is in a blue dress, light blue top, dark blue bottom, blonde hair down to her shoulders, and we've killed her. Our next stop is in Elden Root in Grotwood, and we're looking for a boyer, it looks like. And he is identified as having a blonde ponytail, a bow on his back, and this particular NPC's path is pretty large. And it's interesting to note that if they go through a door, it seems like if you follow an NPC and it goes through a door, it resets its path. I followed this particular NPC through the tree door to the second floor, and then he respawned back out here. But this is his general path. Uh, he's been spotted in the tavern over to the right. And uh, in the tree here, like I said, he sits at the fire inside the tree. Um, but he has a lot of different places that he patrols. Our next stop is Marbrook and Greenshade. So go ahead and use the Way Shrine to travel over there. This NPC's name is Carolath, and normally you can find her hanging out in the Fighters Guild in Marbrook, but again, she can go outside as she's heading to the door right now. And uh, this is what she looks like. She has short hair in sort of dreadlocks, a midriff top, and some capri pants, and one sword on her left side. Our next stop will be Volkwasten in Malabal Tor. So go ahead and use the Way Shrine and travel there. This is where it's located. This NPC's name is Sahada. She's wearing a white dress and is a Khajiit, and the poor thing is sweeping this entire village. Um, so you shouldn't miss her. She just patrols in this circle here and uh, stops and sweeps every once in a while. I feel kind of bad about killing her. Our next stop will be in Reaper's March at Ralka. So go ahead and travel to Ralka. This NPC's name is Dablier, and he is a Khajiit with a kind of red and gold top, yeah. some gray white pants, and some braids coming out the back of his hair. And we're just gonna kill him. This is where he's located. Uh, sometimes he's been seen over here, and he does patrol that whole road there. Our next stop will be Devon's Watch in Stone Falls. So go ahead and use your way shrine to travel there. This is where it's at. The NPC we are looking for is named Dinor Grano, and he is a pompous looking dude. He's wearing a long uh, red-ish orange uh, vest and a sword on his left side with platinum white hair. He spawns about here. I have seen him over here as well. 
he does spawn here he patrols around the uh, all the streets blah words <laughs> anyway we're coming up behind him and we're gonna kill him our next stop is Mornhold and Deshaun so go ahead and weigh shrine there And the NPC we are looking for here is named Sindiri Malus, and she is in full armor, sort of a reddish colored armor with um, a nice little mohawk on the top with a sword on her left side, very pale. This is where she was, and of course she patrols all the streets in town here. Our next stop is in Stormhold and Shadowfen, so go ahead and use the Way Shrine to travel there. This is where it's located. The NPC we're looking for here is named Gadir, and he is an Argonian dressed in kind of reddish rags and carrying a rake. And the poor dude is walking around raking the yard here. I kind of feel bad about killing this one too, but he must have done something wrong. So, this is what he's looked like and who you're looking for. This is around where you can find him, but again, he does path around the city, but generally this is his location. Oops. <laughs> Our next stop is Wind Windhelm in East March, so go ahead and weigh shrine there. This is where it's located. The NPC we're looking for here, her name is Hakita, and she's in this white gown with a tan vest. Her hair is braided and blonde up in a crown around her head, and a sword on her left side. This is where we found her. She does patrol around the city, but uh, my location is where we found her this time. Our next stop is Riften in the Rift, so go ahead and weigh shrine there. Our target's name is Eldfear, and he is wearing a green tank top, brown pants, and has white dreads. This is where we found him, and he can spawn in the guild area there in the buildings, and he patrols around the city. Our next stop is Daggerfall in Glenumbra, so go ahead and weigh shrine there. Our target here's name is Cicerel Hadir, and he's wearing a blue short sleeve top, bald, and has a sword on his left side with gray pants. This is where we found him, and he does pat uh, around here and all around the city, so you just have to find him. Our next stop is Wayrest in Stornhaven, so go ahead and uh, travel there. Our target's name is Alex Adet, and she's wearing a blue short sleeve top, 
and has red hair down to her shoulders and black pants. This is where I found her. Um, I haven't really seen her go up into the city, but most of the time I've seen her on the docks here. Yeah. Our next stop will be Shornhelm in Rivenspire. Our target's name is Bulag, and she's kind of hard to miss because she's crazy looking. Uh, she's got this white mask painted on her face and a blue top underneath a uh, tan looking uh, tabard. Uh, you can find her patrolling the streets. Uh, she's also found leaning up against corners juggling. This is where we found her. Uh, I have seen her juggling over here and she walks around uh, this, this circle here. Our next stop will be Sentinel in the Alakir Desert. Our target's name is Ebraid, and he has a braided mohawk, a orange-red sort of colored long sleeve top with a gold vest over it with white pants and one sword on his left side. This is where we found him, and this is where he dies. And our last stop is in Evermore in Bankarai. Our last target's name is Berea and she has dark skin and it's kind of hard to miss because she's dressed sort of like a um, lady of the evening and has long dark hair and sometimes it's in this chair. We found her here and uh, I have seen her go around this way. Whoa! Did you see that one? It made her explode! Once complete, travel back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and uh, go back over to the uh, Litany of Blood and click on it and you should be complete. You'll receive a notification saying that you've received the Polymorph and your title will be available in your character sheet. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped you and you enjoyed it. And don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe if you want to be alerted for new ESO content. Thanks. Have a good day.